Give me another ten seconds, Tusser. Still hiding. Huh. Now who's the cheater? All right. Ten seconds, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> You found me first. Looks like using the foul legacy transformation while I was still injured took more out of me than I thought. I have no idea what I'd do if Tusser saw me like this. Look at me, deflated as a burst balloon. <laughs> as I recall, you have siblings too, yes? I figured that you probably wouldn't take me out in front of my little brother. Really milking this situation, huh? Like I said, I can never pass on an opportunity to test my limits. And that's why I, Tartaglia, am always getting stronger. <laughs> anyway, childhood dreams are all too easily shattered. Even if you just leave them be, they will fall to pieces all by themselves. So someone has to protect them, right? If you make a promise, you keep it. If you make a mistake, you apologize. And if you give someone a dream, <laughs> You defend it to the end. That is what family is all about, isn't it? <laughs> Remind you of something, did I? <coughs> Quit the tough guy act already. You need to see a doctor right away, mister. A fine suggestion, but first, <laughs> I have a little something for Tusser. Please give it to him on my behalf. Mr. Cyclops action figure? Indeed. I had made it to order by a smith some time back. I had intended to give it to him on my return to Snezhnaya, but it seems that it would make a better souvenir at this point. Wow. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Child's family are really lucky to have him, aren't they? <laughs> I'll also need you to explain my abrupt departure to Tusser. You'll help me out, won't you? <laughs> the cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Ah, that nursery rhyme brings back so many delightful memories. Tusser taught you that one, did he? Alright, thank you. Did Child send you? That's correct. Master Child instructed me to arrange for young Master Tusser's return trip. Please, come this way. Who are you? My big brother always tells me never to go off with strangers. But you've been following us around this whole time. Yeah, that's because I've known who you are all along. Um, what? My brother told us all about you in a letter he sent back home. Sister Tonia read it to me. I actually recognized you the moment I saw you. I just couldn't remember your name. What a strange twist of fate. Not at all. In fact, he said that if he ever had the chance, he'd quit his job and join you on your adventures. Young Master Tusser, the boat to Snezhnaya will dock soon. We'd best prepare for boarding. Gee, time really flies when you're having fun. Well then, see you, Miss Nice Lady. I'll wait for you back home. You definitely, definitely have to come visit Snezhnaya sometime. Yeah! Pinky promise, pinky promise! You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, Paimon throws you on the ice. 
The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. <laughs> it's a promise then. Bye-bye, Toother. Have a safe trip. Hey. Child? So you were here this whole time? What are you hiding for? Why didn't you come and say goodbye? Partings are special moments. If he spent his final moments in Liyue seeing me all haggard and weak like this, that's not a memory I want him to leave with. Still, it is a shame that I couldn't see him off by myself. <sighs> I should have been the one taking him back. I do have subordinates to escort him, but I still feel a little uneasy. Jeez, don't you think you've spoiled him enough already? <laughs> I can't quite explain it, but somehow I felt much more at ease leaving him in your care. And to think that not long ago we... This is going to cost you! Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Remuneration for your services, which I really couldn't have done without this time. Aha! So you do have a heart after all. One other thing. Don't forget our promise now. Let's have a rematch when we get the chance. This time, with my honor as a harbinger on the line. You best go rest up first. Don't come crying to us when you lose all over again. <laughs> Regardless of who wins or loses our next bout, I'd also like to invite you over to my home. I'll introduce you to my other siblings, Tonya and Anthon. They're great kids, and I'm very proud of them both. We'll take you up on that offer. Mostly because we already made a pinky promise to two, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that he'll be very excited to see you too. Well, that settles it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, farewell, my friends, till we meet again in Snezhnaya. <laughs>